DC here, hi guys and gals. Well, it's Sunday, but I'm a lot later than I usually am. It's like, uh, let me see, quarter past 6 p.m. And cheers, everybody. I hope you've had a, a great Sunday. We certainly have. Mm. In the Christian calendar, today is called Wit Sunday or Pentecost. And, uh, you know, it's when we could say that God gave us a gift and sent His Holy Spirit. So today I felt like God did give us a gift. We had our first, uh, our first barbecue together after, uh, well, I shouldn't say after, but where we've uh, off, uh, been allowed to have people with us, family with us or what. And that was great. You had to be outside. So the sun the, was there. It wasn't extremely warm, which was actually really good in that respect. <clears throat> I made a barbecue. As some of you know, we've got like a second level uh, terrace down there. So we had a table down there. We had a table up here and we had the grandkids. I did take the grandkids really close. Yeah, we played with them and I ran around. And since our ground is closed, when the cars are in, I can close the gate. So uh, uh, we, Michael was able to run around and he was really happy to just rediscover, you know, a uh, ground that he hadn't probably been for a while. Yeah, let me see, there's a little notice here. Yeah, it's okay, it's an autofocus, sorry. Uh, yeah, it was also great for my daughter-in-law because she had been confined aside from uh, some standard uh, doctor's appointment or something like that. I think she hadn't really been out very much. Maybe was, I think it was a third time out in close to three months. Think about it. It's like prison, isn't it? Oh, but it was good. So second son of DC was there. Uh, his partner wasn't with us. He, uh, I guess he slept in actually. And finally, uh, he's, they're, they're both teachers and they got to start teaching. Not this Monday, because this Monday is actually a holiday here in Switzerland, but in a week. So they're kind of apprehensive about how it's going to be because the classes are quite tough. And, you know, it's one thing, the way this stupid virus is, is that like we're opening up and we're staying the same. What I mean by that is that they're saying you can do your things, but if you're too close, wear masks. If you're too close, uh, keep your distances. So what do you do when you're a family? I don't know. And when I mean a family, I don't mean the ones that are living together. You know, when you're, even if you're a family, if you're living in different households, you're supposedly act as if you're strangers anyway. Oh, but it was great. It really was. Yeah. <laughs> it was something really weird, though. When they came to leave just a few minutes ago, um, I had the gate that was closed, and it's, it's kind of tight. I couldn't open it. I tell you, I, I had to go get a, I went and got a hammer and tried to open it. I just could not open the gate. So first son of DC came over and he, he opened it and I thought like, geez, I am getting old, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, well, anyway, good. But I was locked into my compound. <laughs> oh, what a crazy thing. But it was great. Oh, yeah, man, it was great. Uh, you know, uh, I had tears in my eyes and uh, just so happy to have the kids. Uh, we had a Skype with my mom and uh, she got to see the grand great grandchildren and her grandkids. So she was happy on that side. It's, oh yeah, yeah. So how is it your way? I know there's a, there's a lot going on. I'm not going to even try and make any type of discussion about what's going on right now on the North American side. And uh, I know Canada, particularly Quebec, is, you know, having a hard time. And, south of the border into the USA are having a really hard time. My heart goes out to all of you for all the possible reasons. And I mean, <clears throat> like I say, I won't get into any discussions because they could become immediately political. So let's just say that I'm hoping very, very much, and I'm praying very much that all of you will, you know, resolve as quickly as possible. I had a, sorry, vloggers itch. I had a quick chat, uh, you know, this type of chat uh, with a, a good friend, my good friend in uh, one of my good friends in Ireland. 
And uh, while well, she was telling me, you know, things are opening up very slowly, but certain institutes or what, they can start, you know, to get people to work there, but it's not easy, you know. Uh, and uh, from what I can see, you know, it's not like I said a few times back, it's not, not tomorrow that I'll be going back. No, no, definitely not. Well, I do hope anyways, like I said, it's going to be going well for all of you. How many minutes have I been talking? Five minutes. I'm trying to be careful because when I just kind of get chatting and you know, you just kind of chat, you sit down and you have either a coffee or a drink or what, and you just start chatting and chatting. And all of a sudden the minutes go by. Isn't that what's nice? Uh, maybe not in a vlog, but when you know you don't have to check at what time it is, uh, like I said, we have a long weekend and it's one of those things, isn't it one of the pleasures of having a long weekend is when Sunday comes up and you start thinking, oh man, tomorrow I'm going to go back to work. And then you realize, oh, no, I don't. No, I don't. I can just kind of like keep on relaxing. It's that extra Saturday. Oh yeah. Yeah. What we're going to do later on, now we've cleaned up around here after the kids have left and what we'll be doing now is we'll be going to church. Yeah, we'll be going to church. Uh, but online, I've said that, other vlogs. So we'll be going to our online churches. Uh, one in Florida, yeah, and one in Oxford, uh, Headington. So looking forward to that, really am, yeah. They supposedly will be opening or have opened the churches up here uh, this weekend. And um, I did mention that the last time. I ended up repeating a lot. You know, that's one of the things. Not so, maybe not so much is going on. I don't know. Mm. Uh, I'm not ready to go back. Uh, there's various reasons. But uh, I'm not quite ready to take communion in the group yet. I mean, we used to take it. I mean, I, I, I'm be very curious how they're going to do it. We used to take it in one cup and one piece of bread that would go around. Eh, I don't know if I'm so keen on that right now. And I just lost myself. Where am I? All of a sudden it just came very dark. Anyway, yeah, it's coming back. Uh, other churches, especially the ones that I'd been in Ireland, uh, the Baptist churches, they had little shot glasses. <laughs> I, I, I hate saying it that way, but it's always the way I, when I take communion over there, I felt like I was taking a little shot glass. Uh, and that's why I, I preferred the one cup. But in the days, day and age, I guess that most people want to go back, uh, go to the shot glasses probably. I know maybe many of you who are watching me don't go to church, but I was just wondering if, if you did, uh, if you do what type of communion cup uh, do you have over there? And by the way, over here in Switzerland, a land that makes wine, uh, when we have communion, it's wine. It's not grape juice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, if you're Catholic, you don't know what I'm talking about because you never have wine. Uh, just the priest does. Anyway. Yeah. Anything else? Well, yeah, there was a little cute thing happened today. You see, I'm getting along with my time. Eight minutes. Uh, with Michael. Michael, he's going to be, well, he's two years and a half now, and um, his mom, you know, sings him uh, Au clair de la lune, mon ami Pierrot, and different songs like that, the kids' songs. And uh, and he, he starts humming, and he's humming along and so on. And every time I tried to take a video of him humming, I never managed. But it's so cute, you know, to see him humming along. Uh, you know, I guess that's one of the things when you've got, you kind of forget it, don't you? I mean, your kids did that, did they? But the grandkids, when they do it, it just, you know, melts your heart, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, now, talking about melting my heart, uh, it's nine minutes and something. So I did manage to get up to there. So DC will be signing off. Take care, everybody. And I hope you're all well and enjoy what's left of Sunday. Bye-bye.